All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. This man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! I'm round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh. All right, he'll engage in a 
single collar tie. Shoot out throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Brown and Paul here or if you're gonna go to a submission. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, try to escape. It's a very, very dangerous position. Nice loop to punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermango Meta. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Uh, a little single collar tie there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmagomedov. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, that's a nice strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Good jab. Lands flush with the left hand. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over two minutes to go. Just misses with the jab there. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Just misses with the left hook. Big call from Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Pretty good right hand. Ooh! Oh, collar tie. You saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Marco Medov's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Close guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. All oh, right to the mount. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom, he's doing it here, nice punch. 30 seconds to go. Nice straight punch. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Just misses with the right. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown.
Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure mid to takedown, switching up the techniques constantly, changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Great punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to be off. That punch, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Takedown lands. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Beautiful punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Got the single collar tie. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Good punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. He always brings his hand right back to his face. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Punch by Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly take down the fifth lane. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 90 seconds to go. Let's go, push, 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 get free. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch land in the middle. And they separate. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. That one's not good. Nice strike. 
Just a slip there. Look at him drive his shin into the corner oh, body from that body kick. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, next round is now underway. Nice DC, fight. any major takeaways nice. after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice punch, man. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Try to establish that jab. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient. Now, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Single collar tie now. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Marco head off course. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Both fighters back to their feet now. Look at the control of the posture as that big D land. Leg kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Just over three minutes to go in round three. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Good punch, man. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really like it did stop a little bit. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got to punch him very fast. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Both fighters throwing heat now. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody... Right up the gut, DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Now it's his mouth. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Man. Here on the ground. And he's back up. Huge shots there. Well, 
unfortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Nermago Medoff. Big. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. No telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that added all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official the decision. Referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling,